Three, two, one, start. I was coming out of the coma, then all of a sudden I thought, let me look at the picture, Mr. Hooper's man who killed me, tried to kill me, and I looked behind me, then I thought, oh dear, I feel pain in the neck. Then I looked behind me, and uh, I found a big, huge mannequin falling uh, fallen behind me. And I think it was about one meter, something like that. I didn't have measuring tape, but it was lying behind me, so that must have pushed me. And uh, I thought I was uh, hoping to get Mr. Hooper, the man there, and I nearly had a smile like this. You know, people can smile even when they are dying. I saw s smile on Saddam Hussein's face. Uh, somebody cracked a joke and he smiled only a minute before he was being hanged. How cruel to hang somebody. Why not let people live? You know, there are other countless methods of punishment. You know, killing somebody is very wrong because he died with secrets. Those can expose even Lady Thatcher. Never kill anybody. That is my principle. Nature gave birth to everybody. Everybody have a right to live. Who are we to kill people? You know, who is... Who is this regime to go around killing people? However, that's not my principle. But I was hoping, Mr. Hooper's man, but I found Menachem, and a smile came in my... And then smile stopped because of the pain. Pain in the hip was very severe. And I thought, oh dear, I have broken my, my hip joint. Then I touched a bit hard to find if the bones are moving about. But you see because I'm expert in broken bones, I've broken three times. So, but I think uh, I wanted to find out if my hip bone is broken only by standing on my feet. So I have uh, uh, sat there thinking what was happening to me, who pushed me, that problem is now solved, and my memory had come back as well, but I now know my brain was not well. It, you know, going around, the whole building is swimming around me. Unknown to me, I had suffered a whiplash injury. Somebody pushed my, me behind, from behind, neck goes this way, and hyperextension take place according to Newton's law of motion. Now, this, when the neck goes that way, the and it's attached up and attached down, always in the middle, the pressure take place. The middle point was, in my case, fifth vertebra. Uh, stop. Darling, please. Okay. Now, what happened is, the fifth vertebra is located in the middle. So, this injury Broken. is called as high level spinal cord injury. When the fifth vertebra broke here, instantly it damaged the spinal cord close by because they are tangled like that. This is the vertebra, this is the spinal cord. They are tangled like that. So therefore, it has to, uh, broken vertebra has to injure spinal cord. That's law of the nature. Maybe nature wants to kill people. So therefore, vertebra and spinal cord are very close to each other. Uh, it was not known to me, but whiplash injury had caused high level spinal cord injury and shaken my brain and I was feeling pain here, giddiness, dizziness, everything was puzzlement, bewilderment and by that time a woman came. She said, are you all right? I, I said, look, I need two strong men to lift me up. I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't get up. I have tried to make an effort. I can't get up. I think I have broken my hip and I want to see if I have actually broken the hip. And uh, this Irish woman, she brought the security, store security man and both of them tried to pull me. I told her, look, madam, I need a man, not a woman. You know, you will just drop me and I will break my uh, hip a second time. And uh, she said, no, I won't uh, drop you. And they made me stand on my feet 
And I said, look, look, listen, I'm tipsy. Can you bring a chair for me so that I can sit? But I think, I think I have, I have not broken my hip. So all of you are very lucky. And otherwise, I break my bones very easily. So please hurry up and let me sit on the chair. And then they brought the chair and I sat down. And I, I, I said, let me sit down because my brain is not well. I'm, 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 I'm unable to figure out what is wrong with my brain. It's, you know, it's swinging. I'm tipsy. I'm dizzy, and all that. So I sat there, and they offered me, "Do you want tea or coffee?" I said, "No, thank you. Just plain water from the tap." And they gave me water, and I said, "What is strange thing?" My brain, uh, my hip joint is uh, not broken, but my mouth is very bitter, and I get bitter taste in the mouth only when I break my bones. Uh, there is no bone broken, but my mouth is very bitter. So I am I'm puzzled what is wrong with me, and my brain is not well. And do you mind if I sit here? And they told me, you keep sitting here as long as you want. But then afterwards she came back, are you all right? Can I escort you out? I said, no, I'm not all right. Let me please sit. And then in the process, the people came, Englishman came, do you know you can sue them? Uh, I had a small laugh. I said, my hip joint is not broken. So they are all safe. And the other Englishman came, you look awful. You see your doctor. And I said, okay, I will see my doctor. And the other worker came, one of the worker came and said, you must see your doctor and see them. You know, don't let them go, go away scot-free. I thought, oh, nothing is broken. You, I have to break my hip joint to see them. <laughs> and I'm very ill at the moment. I don't know what is happening. But then this Irish woman, maybe decided that people are gathering up around me, so she should get rid of me and uh, to be on the safe side, just in case people start teaching me laws or something, you know. We Indian are very innocent people, you know, and English people exploit our innocence. Like it was said in the film called as Roots TV serial, if, if, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if you teach if you educate the black people, then they become to know their rights and then they will be no more our servants or our slaves also. So exploitation took place. Irish woman came and she kept on saying, are you right? Let me escort you. Out. And, uh, you know, I thought this is not my country. This is not m my store. She's asking me to go away and I should, I should be sitting here. So I should go away. You know, maybe I felt embarrassed and she said, uh, I said, okay. I lifted my goods, three, four bags of shopping, heavy shopping bag, and I started to walk with her and she said, I'll escort you. Then she kept on gazing behind, me, behind her to look at me how I walk. And then maybe she decided that I was not walking properly. And she said, can I take your shopping off you? Um, and uh, she took my shopping off me. And instead of calling for ambulance, instead of telling me you are unwell, I will not allow you to go home. Uh, she took my shopping off me and I, I, I will uh, load in your car. I said, you can take my keys. Load in the car and are brave with check or the top of Corona. They have to say, you'll never dig on it. Nene Maria Batti to Maria again. You know, but Batni stop.